Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you my experience with this new release unit fan coming from Nanny, known as the TL120 and the TL LCD120. Before I begin, I'd like to thank every one of you, my subscribers, my viewers, and to those of you watching this content, greatly appreciated to support my channel. And to Nanny, to have provided all this unit, and on top of which, throughout your sponsorship of all your cases, your unit fans, and such, greatly appreciated. Not forgetting to block soda to have done all the arrangement on all this unit. Besides this, there are others like case and such to have shipped them safely to my place. I just want to thank every one of you to have supported me and to motivate me to move on and to do better content. Thank you very much. With this said, I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Besides this, I do have one wish. For those of you who are actually watching this content, right, do give me a shout out on my content just type to everyone merry christmas and a happy new year let's begin i will first start off with the fan size be it you're choosing the tl or the tl lcd it does come with two variant which is 120 what i'm having right now or the 140. as for color variant same apply on both 120 or 140 mm sizes it comes with white and black now as for packaging both are of the same whereby you have triple pack a single pack whereby it, it's not reverse blade or the reverse blade and do take note on the reverse blade it does not come with a triple pack so if you want a reverse blade right you will need to purchase individually be it the 120 or the 140 black or white now, as for the specification on both TL and the TL LCD, I will show you on this chart. Have a look. You can pause this video. Once you're done, proceed on. Starting out with the TL120 with the triple pack. When you unbox what's inside this box, you will be provided with an instruction manual. Three sets of Protective frame for your fan side where it shows the infinity mirror. Of course, it comes with three fans. And all these are packed nicely in this plastic bubble wrap. Three sets of cable. This is the SATA source, the bridging cable, and the cable where you connect one end to your fan, the other end to the controller. Three bag of screws for you to mount your fan to your case. There are a total of four in each pack, and they are all black. And the controller. Now, the controller itself is pretty straightforward, where you are given a double-sided magnetic tape to tape to your controller. And in this controller, right, the cables are not split is all together with the controller which says TL series and this is the second generation now next move on to the single pack now as for the single pack be it the reverse blade or the individual which is normal not the reverse blade you'll be provided with again instruction manual protective frame again for the side of your infinity mirror both ends and of course the fan itself protected by this bubble wrap next you will have these two cables which is one the bridging cable and this is the cable where you connect this to one fan and to a controller now, do take note that when you're purchasing an individual pack, right, it doesn't come with a controller. So I would advise you to purchase a triple pack before you purchase an individual pack. Next, you will be provided with four screws, which is black in this package. Next will be the TL LCD variant, where you have the triple pack and the single pack. Now, I just want to show you how it's been packed. When you unbox this right, oh, make sure that there's a seal. I've actually taken it off. So once you unbox this right, you can see how premium they have packed this 
TLLCD with protective foam and you'll get three packs of fans and kindly know that I've opened this package by right it should be sealed just like this so we have three fans one set of cable whereby you connect one end to your fan and the other one to the controller a bag of screws total of 12 all in black for you to mount your fan to the case and the controller you have an instruction manual the controller itself is just like the TL triple pack whereby it makes use of the same controller so if you were to purchase let's say one triple pack of TL120 right and you will get the uh, single pack TL LCD you can make use this on the controller of the TL120 but anyway this triple pack does come with a TL controller which is of the same and the cables are attached again you'll be provided with this double-sided magnetic tape for you to tape to the controller and this will connect to your case now coming to the single pack be it whether the normal or the reverse blade now this is sealed make sure it's sealed I've opened it just to see what the what's the uh, package inside so inside this package right oh before I proceed on why am I using this reason being right I know most of you will just pluck to the center and pull out right you will give a very nasty arch here so that's the reason why I use a metal rule to sort it in and to unpack now inside this package again very premium protective see it has this form to protect your fan now before I go to the fan right you will be given a set of cable again one end to your fan the other end to the controller a bag of screws all black and this is the f this is the fan see how well they protect this package as in like to protect the fan because there's an LCD on the uh, fan itself okay let me just take this out real fast see so they wanted to protect this LCD that's why they have packed it so premium having a closer look at both models be it the TL120 or the TL LCD120 all are well built with very good quality material and the structure of the body of both fans right or both model fans right is very sturdy it doesn't flex and then we have even done detailed construction on this fence itself as in if you notice right in the previous fence just like the p28 there will be exposed cables over here which is not very nice on the aesthetic but then we have done one step further whereby it conceal the cable see be it on the tl or on the tl 120 sorry TL LCD 120 see it's concealed so these are the details that they have done well done besides this the interconnector starts over here which are removable which some of you are familiar with this is whereby you want to place this to a radiator where you have the holes right where these studs are obstructing it you can remove this and to place the fan without any issues and this starts right another very detailed thing that they have done I thank you for that as I've ever been scratched by the studs on the previous uni fan let me just show you this is the AL120 V2 see this is square it's very sharp same goes to the P28 it's extremely sharp so I've scratched myself sometime when I was feeling this uh, fence that's mounted in the case and I feel the components right I got scratched but for this fence over here right 
all are rounded. Okay, just to show you. The TL, this is the TL LCD and this is the TL. See? They are rounded. You can't scratch yourself, not at all. On top of this, right, a lot have been saying that, you know, this exposed uh, connectors, right, it's been shorted and such. So to prevent such things, right, then we have done this cap over here on one side. So to prevent short, you can just close it with this cap. And to remove this cap, right, there is two holes over here. One is big, one is small. We also want to catch itself, I mean the cover, you have one white and one small, so it matches only one direction. Okay, just to show you to remove right with this direction, right? Okay, look at how it how it's orientated. Now here there's a symbol, a lock where you say push to this end. Now when you push to this end, right, this is locked. If you were to push it down, right, this will release the uh, cover. There is protecting the uh, pins over here so a very nice mechanism that they have thought of whereby they want to prevent you from getting i mean defense from getting shot and to have mishaps in your system and such so with this area you can cover this and safely paste into your i mean place this in your case without any accidents happening well done now besides this right be it whether the normal fans or the reverse bait they are of the same, which I mentioned on all the benefits, all the details and such. And aside from this, right? Oh, forget to mention, this is how it looks like for the normal fans from the front and from the back. Same goes to the TL, LCD. And this is the reverse fans. They are of the same. Now back to where I was, all these fans, be it the normal configuration or the reverse plate, right? All are with nine bladers. And the material made use on the TL120, these are liquid crystal polymer. And for the TL LCD, right, based on the fact that there is an LCD, it will be of a higher cost if you were to construct with liquid crystal polymer. So these are not liquid crystal polymer, but rest assured, it's high graded plastic which I can't remember what's the name of it. You can refer back to the specification from my front intro. So this is how it's being constructed. And I have mentioned earlier on, both are sharing of the same controller. But please be mindful. When you do interconnecting right between fans, let's say this is the TL, you can interconnect with only TL fans. Don't you know? Don't be so fanciful as like you connect the TL and you want one end to be LCD, and you just connect to it. I know you can connect, but it's not advisable to do so. You will def definitely damage your fans, cause the LCD right is drawing so much power as compared to the TL. Never, never, I repeat that again, never, never cross interlink with your TL LCD with your TL120 fans, all right? If you want to do TL, make sure all are TL. And of course, you can place the reverse, reverse blade fans, not an issue, all right? Same apply to your LCD fans. Okay, let me just connect this. You can make use of the reverse blade, not a problem, which is this. All right, but make sure that the array of it, right? If it's LCD, it's LCD. Do not go and daisy, daisy chain LCD with your TL fan. You will damage the whole unit, inclusive of your controller and such. So make sure TLLCD is TLLCD. The daisy chain is in one way. Same goes to your TL120. Alright, make sure that it's the same array or same model fans. Do not mix. Now, speaking of which, right, there's something which I want to cover 
if you take a look right now for the TLLCD these are the normal fans and this is the reverse fan I hope that any can actually do some laboring on the reverse fan because it confuses me if I don't look at the blade see it's of different direction or maybe you should flip see this is drawing air in that is pushing air through which you can see that the structure of the blade is different but there are no indication on the laboring it's all TL LCD so if I wouldn't look at the blade right I wouldn't know if this is a normal or a reverse fan blade so this is something which I hope that you will take note same apply to the uh, TL fans whereby you look at the reverse blade this is reverse this is normal showing you to the back see there is a big difference and there's there are no laboring again so this is something which i hope that any will take note make sure that you label them properly now besides this right what's the difference between the tl and the lcd is on the rpm for the tl itself on the normal not the reverse blade this run at a max of 2600 rpm else for the reverse right it's running max at 2300 rpm for the tl lcd be it whether it's the normal or reverse blade this is the reverse blade now normal or reverse blade all are running off 1900 rpm another very good implementation kudos to the any Thank you very much to have listened to all the viewers and your forum goers at Reddit, whereby some of you wish to have both characteristics of the ARGB on a SL120 and a SL Infinity. Now take a look at this fan structure, whereby both sides are with Infinity Mirror, be it the TL or the TL LCD, and with the characteristics of the SL120. See the ARGB effect same goes to the side and they have stepped out even further even to the sides see on both ends same goes to your TL where both sides infinity mirror and the ARGB effect it's so nicely done in fact it's the whole frame itself as you can see right the characteristic of the SL120 it starts from here all the way it doesn't end you just continue on to this side and to the top so it's covering the whole fan in fact with all the two characteristics as mentioned well done and besides this right some have com complained about the performance fans which is the P28 whereby if you want to have a side ARGB effect you will need to remove off the uh, frame which is this I remove off and to purchase an additional side ARGB kit which is an additional cost just in order for you to fit the ARGB effect on the performance fan oh, over here and when you add this to the P28 right it add the thickness as in like the width and having to say this right since everything is implemented on this TL fence itself the measurements are fantastic from here to here okay from here to here is 120 from here to here is 124 which is very good so that you don't have any obstacle as in like you know it's just slightly a bit out which is 124 millimeter so it shouldn't be a problem for you to fit this in any of the case and such well done besides this right the rubber garment for all these fans over here is well positioned as you can't see any fan holes right it's covered with this rubber garment see be it the front or the back And speaking about this, right, the thickness of all these fans, be it the uh, TL LCD or the TL, right, is at 28 millimeter thick. But you don't have to worry when you push through the uh, 
radiator screws, it will not exceed to that point because the area to grab this fence right in fact is 25 millimeter as you can see this thing is going inwards same goes to the back inwards and once you have done with the screwing on the screws right you can just make use of this rubber grommets to cover it and there is a purpose for this rubber grommets and speaking about the rubber grommets right take a look at the other side see this will not push the screws towards and damaging the uh, unit in fact it's flush see this is flush and why are this place right as in the previous uni fans right you might feel that or have experienced that this whole thing here right the rubber anti-vibration rubber grommets right will just peel off take for example the AL so this will peel off but this right will not peel off reason being right you are placing a cap over it so this is the whole surface area that is pressing against either your radiator or your case fan tray so you will leave no areas as in like you know having too much pressure on the rubber grommets itself right let's say this is hollow okay let's say this is hollow so when you press against this right you will somehow pushes the side of the rubber, rubber grommet out of the fence so having this to place this right flat surface right in fact the pressure is on the whole contact so this will prevent your rubber grommets from peeling off nice touch now to illustrate how to connect all these fans to your motherboard and such i will first start off with the controller now please pay very close attention as these are very high current drawn fans so please don't make any mistake on the controller itself right this controller will support up to 10 fan max be it you place two over here two over here three and three right total up is 10 and even at one point you're able to supply up to 10 fan in a single run meaning to say if you connect 10 right do not connect to other ports take for example port one if you connect 10 fans together right do not connect anymore on the rest of the ports which is not advisable now having said this right the connection are as follow as you have daisy chain all the fans be whether your normal fan or the reverse fan you can daisy chain them as i mentioned or you can bridge now as i mentioned to you one pot you can take up to max 10 fan so you are allowed to bridge the fans take for example this is the top fan this is the rear fan and you have some others you can bridge them with this bridging cable they come in a triple pack so by bridging right you can just do this place this over here and you clip it on so this is one end and towards the other end there's only one direction you can do it see this is bridging and as small fans that you have purchased right for the individual as mentioned to you it does come with a bridging bridging cable so you can bridge on but make sure that the whole cycle right when you bridge the fan make sure it's not exceeding 10 fans maximum is only up to 10. now one thing good about all this cables that's provided right as you can see right you don't have to turn the right direction of your fans you can just swivel them and go to the other place see so this helps you to orientate when you fix your fan on the case itself so for example let's say this is how it looks like and if this is the front right you wouldn't want to see the cable tucking out so we can just switch to the other end where there's a clip to clip on the cables all right now take your time to do this do not force it it only goes in one direction and assuming that you've done all the connection right at one of the ends make use of this whereby you have one end to the fan and one end to the controller so connect this to the fan 
and swivel the direction that you needed as mentioned so once you have done this right okay right now I'm going to swivel to the top it's easier that way once you have done all the connection this end here you'll be plugging to either of the ports one two three and four and again I repeat make sure one unit itself the controller do not exit max 10 fans if you exit right you're gonna blow your controller so with this say right assuming you have 10 fans daisy chain together and to bridge you can connect to one port any of the ports and when you fill up one port with 10 fans right as mentioned do not populate any more fans don't take it you can put 40 fans as in like port 1 port 2 port 3 right put 10 fans 10 fans 10 fans right this will definitely blow your whole unit do not do that so again i know this is naggy do not exit more than 10 fans on this controller be it your port 1 port 2 port 3 or port 4 right whether you split your fans in different port just make sure that total capacity of this controller is 10 fans once you have done this right now there's something additional that I want to talk, talk about assuming you have bridged all the 10 fans in one chain you will need to connect this SATA connector to the other end which is this end over here reason for this right this SATA is to provide more power for your ARGB if you don't connect this with all the fan, 10 fans connected right your diffusion on the uh, ARGB right will just go halfway and especially for white if you want it to be white right nice clear white make sure you connect this SATA provider source with this connection end to your fan if you don't plug this right as mentioned your ARGB will diffuse halfway it's either halfway or your white color will be yellowish you will not be bright white so make sure you connect this to the other end I mean this cable over here once you have done this right make sure that you connect this to your power, power supply SATA source to provide the current for your ARGB now over at the controller end where you have three more additional cables okay in fact it's four one two three four I'll start off with the easy one whereby you have one ARGB control I mean connector and the 4 pin PRN fan connector now this is for the readings on the RPM on your motherboard itself whereby you want to make use of the motherboard to control the fans if you do not wish to use the motherboard right you can forego about this uh, connector and to make use of the controller the L Connect 3 application which I'm going to show you to control the fans and this is the 5 pin ARGB connector to sorry 3 pin 5 volt ARGB connector to your motherboard and on your motherboard right do pardon me this is an ATX I mean ITX motherboard where you have the 3 pin plug to your 3 pin ARGB connector so this is done okay it takes some time to be there and for this right depending on which header you want to place it can be your chassis fan or your CPU fan so it's up to you if this are I mean if these fans are connected to your radiator or your air cooler right make sure you connect to the CPU fan header if you want you to control your fans using your motherboard utility or the UEFI so this is the CPU once done right this is done you can leave this aside the next cable you need to take note is this USB connector now for this USB connector right this is whereby you may use of the L connect 3 application to send the signal to the controller and to control your fans so again this is to be plugged to your USB 2.0 header okay on the ITX motherboard is located some here somewhere here but for a full ATX or MATX right there should be two connector I mean it's like the USB 2.0 connector at the bottom so connect this to the bottom 
So I know this is for this, so I just plug it here. So this is done. Once it's done, right, final, which is the power source, to the controller and to your fans, which is this power connector. Now, this is your six pin PCIe connector, whereby, you know, you have the uh, eight pin, you can split to six pin. So make sure you connect, not the EPS cable, all right? The cable meant for your GPU, which has a eight pin, where you can split two pin and six pin. Use the six pin, connect to this. This will provide the power source to your fan, I mean controller and your fans. Next will be the TL LCD. Starting off with the controller again. Now for TL LCD is slightly different. This unit controller right allows you to plug in six TL LCD and each part please speed them out in trees. As in for the TL LCD right make sure it's in the array of three fans, not more than that to each part. So don't assume that this can daisy chain up to six fans, 10 fans and plug to one port. No, don't do this. Cause the controller only allows six LCD 120 fans. And having six right, do not daisy chain them in six. Do them separately as in one chain to have three, the other chain to have three. So total six, whereby each three right connect to the controller. And again, daisy chain them nicely, which is in three. Then on the other end, whereby this end here, right, is to be plugged to one end over here. So I'll just flush this like this. There's only one direction again. Please do not force this to clip on to the unifan. And on the other end, right, connect to the port. So assuming you have done this and you've done another set, which is three, connect to another port. I repeat again, this controller for L TL LCD, right? Only allows up to six LCDs. So do not daisy chain them at six and plug to one port. If you want total six LCD, what you need to do, change them in three fans for one set on the port and the other set on another port. And as for the connection wise, right, I need not have to explain as I mentioned to you, connect your fan PWM and your ARGB on the motherboard whereby you want to make use of the motherboard utility to control the fans and the ARGB. If not, you can don't plug this, make use of the L Connect 3 application to control the uh, controller and to control your fans, ARGB and the RPM. And also connecting the USB connector, which I've shown you. And last but not least, the six pin PCIe connector, whereby you connect this to your PSU PCIe eight pin, where you can split two pin and six pin. The six pin will plug to this connector. Now, something to take note when you are doing combination of the TL LCD and the TL120. The controller itself, right, is built unique. Okay, let me just take this away. Why I say it's unique? I've mentioned to you that on TL, right, this is max up to 10 fan. And for LCD, max is up to 6 fan. If you do a combination of TL and LCD, you can total up 10 TL fans and 6 LCD fans. And how it's being connected? For the 10 fans, right, connect to one port where you can bridge total of 10. Assuming you have a case of top fan, bottom fan and such, you can connect up to 10 max on one port. Okay, that's it. And for the LCD, right, as mentioned to you, split them in three. So you have one set to one port, another set to another port. So you will combine total of six LCD TL fans and 10 TL fans, you're gonna populate three port, whereby two will be on LCD and one will be on your TL fan. So you can have total up to 16 fans on this uh, controller. You might find it funny that, hey, how come I can only fit 10 TL or six LCD? 
Where else right now I have mentioned to you that you can combine both together where you can populate 16 fans. Well, this controller has its switch whereby it will draw more power from your PCIe 6 pin by indicating whether is it a TL fan or a LCD fan. Something to take note where the cables that are supplied with your TL LCD or the TL120. Now, this cable is meant for you one side to be connected to your fan, the other side to the controller. Please take note on the cables as they are both black. So if you do a combination of both fans on a controller, please be mindful as these connectors are different. As you can see, this is only meant for TL LED and this is for TL LCD. So the TL LCD is only meant for your LCD fans. Else for the TL LED, right? are meant for your TL fans. Do not change the cable and to connect your LCD to your TL. Same goes to your LCD fans to connect to the LED fans. If you're going to do this right, you will damage the uh, unit for sure and you will blow somewhere. As I tested out one of my unit, the whole thing burned as in like um, the uh, unit just give off smoke. So please be very very careful when you do combination. Take note on the connection cables where it says TL LED and TL LCD. Now another thing is that on the controller I like to emphasize this again. <laughs> so sorry about this. Now if you want to do only TL fans you can split them up as in like the fans splitting in different set to plug to the port but make sure that it doesn't exceed 10 fans and if you are only doing LCD make sure it doesn't go more than 6 fans and this 6 fans right make sure you split them up in 2 sets of 3 fans to 1 port and if you do combination of both you can do merging with 10 TL fans to 1 port and 2 set of LCD 3 fans to their respective port which will occupy 2 so you can total up to 16 fans with a combination of LCD and the TL fans also another reminder whereby the TL fans right do provide you with the bridging cable same goes if you purchase an individual reverse fan or the normal fan it comes with a bridging cable the TL fans allow you to bridge but not the LCD fan. Don't go and make use of the TL bridging cable and to make use on the LCD. You will definitely damage the uh, LCD fans. And it's a no-go to bridge the LCD because it's drawing more power compared to your TL. So at all times, right, keep your LCD clean with only three fans on each port. Alright? Now, I'm going to show you the uh, specification and such. If you miss any of my message across reminding you all this, you can read through, which is on the next slide. This is how it looks like on the LConnect 3 application that controls the fans. Now it will show you status like your CPU temperature, the clock speed and such, and your GPU temperature and such, followed by the storage and your RAMs. Now under this quick sync, or should I say quick or sync like thing, whereby all the uh, Danny ARGB Eagle devices right is mounted in this system right you can just do it in one switch let me just show you assuming i have the color hub and you are inclusive of all these fans the uh, tl lcd and the tl 120 so if you to trigger all this here right take for example morphis when i apply right you see it will react all together and of course you can do static colors if you want to Things like if you want to change the uh, color to this and maybe to green, then when you apply, see, it will react. And of course, you can set the brightness. And if you want to turn off, right, just set it to zero, you will just turn off. It's very responsive. 
Now there are other colors over here that you can choose, like run away and such, or should I say effects. See, this is too bright. In fact, the uh, colors on the ARGB on this Unifans, right, it's just like the rest of the Unifans family. It's very bright, very vibrant. Now, if you want to control individually, you can just go to the TL fan utility where it shows you a selection of, okay, let me just get this in the way, show you the selection on the uh, TL and the TL LCD. So what you do over here, right, basically what you can do is to set the lightings. Okay, let's say I select to TL01, which is this. Now the TL is actually at, at the top, so you can set differently so if I have to apply right see the top will just react and one thing good about this interface right you can also split the uh, two section the top and the bottom of this frame I mean this fans over here you can toggle top let's say this is the top right I would just set to let's say to rainbow see it will react leaving the bottom untouched with the Morpheus rainbow and if you set bottom let's say I want to set it to run away not an issue you just apply see below is run away on top is rainbow probably you can't see, see very clearly let me just set the uh, top to static color then you will understand what I meant by you can have two different sets of see you can have two different sets of effects on the fan itself and if you want to synchronize everything together, right, you just click on this and to apply. See, it will just synchronize everything up. So this is the function for this. So same goes to your TL LCD. Okay, let me just change to this. And if you want to change, you can just simply, okay, let's say right now I set it to rainbow. Okay, as you can see, this is rainbow on both top and bottom. If I were to set it this way, now the orientation on this this fence right is up I mean upside down. So when I toggle the top frame right, it should be the uh, bottom. Okay, let me just set select red color. See? As I mentioned to you the orientation right, this is selected on the top frame because I have the fan I mean the fan orientated the other way around. I mean upside down. That's why you see different direction. But overall it does work. And you can set the, uh, I mean the brightness, or even you can set the colors if you want to. Let's say you want to place yellow. See, it will just reflect. Now this is showing green, green because of the lightings, but on the actual ground you will be seeing yellow, or maybe you have it blue. Oh, I forgotten to. You have to use the pill to dip on the color that you want. Then you apply. See, this is blue. And of course, you can synchronize both and to apply, you will follow. So this is the function of it. Now, coming to the very interesting part whereby you have the LCD screen, looking at this two, you have this and this. Now, you can do the rotation on the screen, see, individually. In fact, this is this, this is this. As I mentioned, I have oriented upside down. That's the reason why. So with this orientation, right, you can set it whatever direction you want especially when you want to load things like pictures jpeg i mean still pictures or dynamic gif which is the uh, dot gif a if i'm not wrong and you can even load the uh, videos now let me just show you on the dynamic gif select on this now whatever file you want to load right you just select on it and to load so you can add so right now, I already have two of the uh, minions that I have downloaded. So you can click on this and this will load. See? Now, of course, you can see here clearly. Probably I'll just turn this on. Yeah, see? The minions is over here, which is at the correct direction. The thing is that I have rotated this. That's why by right, it should be this way. I mean, the correct direction. But you can, as mentioned, you can change the direction. And with the second LCD, right, you can select to the second LCD, add another dynamic GIF. See, it's upside down. <laughs> oh, okay. Probably I would to add another one. 
this is not the correct one, this one. Yeah, okay. See? So you can orientate the direction, not an issue. And as and when you want it, you do not want it, right? You can just select this and to go back to the default. And of course, you can load videos. Now, you can't do video capture, you can load videos, not an issue. So if you do add, right? I already done one. See, it loads. You can apply this the same with this. See, both will load. And accordingly, this is 400 by 400 in pixel. So do take note on the dimension. So when you load a video, right, make sure you have the correct direction so that, I mean the uh, dimension, so that your picture will be, you know, at the exact, I mean the exact position. Else it will be not too wide or too narrow. So this is how you set the uh, LCD and the ARGB effects. Now let me just put this to clear, not to confuse you guys. Besides showing you uploading the videos on this LCD along with the dynamic GIF or even you can place JPEG or PNG files, those are still pictures, you can do sensor. Take a look at what I've highlighted. I've selected this, the first one which is this. I can set to read CPU temperature and this will show. And with this say right, this style over here is style 1 where you have this, I mean this effect which is like this or you can have style 2. See? Which looks like a technometer on a vehicle. Now with this say you can change the color too. If you want the uh, meter right to be in different color, you can just select over here the sensor color and to select the color that you wanted see it follows and in the event you do not like the color of all this text that's shown over here there are three ways to set it where you have the wording cpu followed by the degree and the temp so all you need is just to select on text color click on here you have three over here so let's say you want the uh, temperature reading over here right to be white Select on white and highlight this. See, this will be in white. Now, the thing is super bright. That's why you're seeing kind of like cloudy effect. Now, if you want to change the wording for CPU, let's say to, let's say red. Just click on the first one. See, it will go red. And for the last one, as usual, see, it will change accordingly. Or if you don't want the temp, you can select black. See, it will just show you CPU. So these are the things that you can play with. And of course, if you want to, okay, let me just set this back. Okay, probably I'll set it to this. Now, of course, with one LCD panel, you can select to highlight, I mean, to show the CPU temperature. The other one, you can select on the other one and to show the GPU temperature. Okay, this is opposite. So you can select this too and to do the colors individually. See? No problem. You will not affect your first setting. So having this say, right? Okay, probably I'll do this. Having this say, right? Okay, this is orientation differently so you can change the orientation. So these are things that you can do. Okay, moving on, right? Come to fan profile whereby you can see that there is this TL and TL LCD, these are your fans. Now, of course, you can do custom curve over here. Okay, let me just move out of the way. Let me see where I can place it. Okay, place it here. See all this profile? You can select, take for example, this is TL01. Look at both, I mean the fans over here. Look at the fan blade. If I were to apply, let's say I set it to full. See? I believe you can hear the noise. The fans have turned in full speed. Or you can set it to quiet. Look at the fan blade again when I apply. See? It shifted. Same goes to your LCD, whereby you've set this right. You can have custom curve if you apply. See? It reacts. You can set it to full. 
see so at full right it will ramp up all the way to 1900 rpm for the tl lcd as for the tl if i were to ramp up to full it will go beyond 2600 around there right now there are some restrictions that's why it doesn't pull all the way up but it's overall at that max point and of course, I'm going to switch this back to normal. And you can play with the uh, fan curve. You can customize them, set your fan curve. Take for example, the lowest for this TL LCD, right? I will go as low as, let's say, 350, I apply. And take a look at the fan. See, the RPM is going down. All right, you hover around there. Same goes to your TL. You can set it custom up to you. Let's say I set it to 200. Apply. See, the fan blade will shift and look at the RPM. It reacts upon the L connectory application, which is quite responsive. See, it will just go up. Whatever you have set. It does take time to pick it up. So right now I'm set to 1700, which it will climb, see, it's still climbing. So these are the things that you can play with. Now, speaking of which, right, back to this fan utility where I play with the custom color. Now, in the event, if you choose not to make use of the ARGB effect on l Connect 3, you will need to toggle this. Click on this quick thing, and to set it, to motherboard lighting synchronization. When you turn this on, right, this will follow your motherboard utility, which I'm going to show you down here. So, based on the fact that this is the effects that is making use of the MSI Dragon, or should I say the Mystic Light. So you can set, as you can see here right now, it's under frame, I should say flame, you can do flashing if you want to and to apply now for the motherboard right it might take some time to react see it flashes then probably you might want to do coloring see it will react accordingly to your motherboard utility which is this motherboard is a MSI so it may use of the MSI Mystic Light. If you're using Gigabyte, it will be Fusion. If you're using SROC, it will be Polychrome. And if you're using ASU, it will be, I think it's Aura Sync, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So it's very, you know, it's very portable in the sense that you, you will just react upon what you select. Anything that you want, energy, probably apply. See, it will just react. And if you do not want your motherboard utility to control right back to L Connect, all you need to do under quick sync lighting, unswitch this. So you'll be back to the control on your L Connect where you can set this, let's say run away. Okay, probably I'll set it both. Run away, oh sorry. Run away and I apply. See, the TL will react. And same goes to your TL LCD. It's the same thing. So this application, in fact, is very responsive. See, you have weakness all this. Then next will be fan profile. Now, if you want to bypass L Connect application and to make use of your motherboard, you can too. Take a look at the, okay, right now, let me just set this to quiet, apply, and set this to quiet, apply. Now you have the RPM over here, see, this much. Now just focus on the TL, okay, probably I would to do a back to the custom on both ends. So take a look at the TL itself and the TL LCD, the RPM. I will first start off with the TL. RPM. Now, both of this in L Connect 3, right, you can 
control them individually is not a problem. But if you do bypass it, all this configuration, right, that you set individually, right, you will only follow to one instruction because that is the connector whereby you connect the um, controller PWM connector to your motherboard. So let me, sh let me just show you what happened. Now, I will switch this to motherboard mode. Which is making use of the L, I mean the uh, MSI center. So let me just pull out the scenario. Okay, custom. As you can see here, right, this is being connected to the system fan tree. Okay, just to show you. Okay, look at the RPM. Oh, TL. Yeah. See, you take the highest one, which is the RPM over here. So if I am to do custom configuration over here, okay, let's say I set it to 75. Take a look at the RPM. It's going up. See, it follows. Now, as mentioned, right, from the motherboard utility to L Connect 3 application, it will take some time, but it does react. Same goes to your TL LCD fan. Okay, you will pick up, even you have to set it this way, see so you will react. But the problem with the um, application, l connectry and motherboard itself, right? Because when you plug one PWM signal connector to any of the headers, right, you will pick up the uh, highest rating RPM fan, so it might not be accurate. As you can see here, right, for the TLS LCD, right, reading on L Connect 3, this is the correct reading, which is running on 1020 RPM, which I've set on the uh, motherboard utility to 50%. See? But else, reflecting on the MSI center, right, it's this. But rest assured, it's reacting. See, if I were to pump this to 75, right, take a look at the RPM over here. Now, this is going up also. Look at it. See? But it stops. And when you look at the TL fans, right, instead of the LCD, right, it will reflect at this, as I mentioned to you, taking the highest reading of both fans. See? So this does react too. And if you were to set it unsync with the motherboard, you will be back to L Connect 3. Oops. Okay, let me just get this out of the way. See? So you have to set, for example, this right. Take a look at the RPM. If I set to full, apply. See, it reacts. Because you have unsync with the motherboard utility and to back to L Connect 3. Now let to set quiet. Now for TL LCD same thing. You can set it to full, full speed and we just pump. See it does react. So these are the things that you can do and there are many more application or should I say usage on both fan profile and light things, probably you will need to check it out on the NE's website when they officially launch the uh, instruction manual. Or should I say there's one manual that will show, which is this. I, I am going to leave this URL in my description so that you can have a look, whereby this is very useful. See, this is all from many. It does show you all this over here. But of course right now they don't have the profile i believe they do not have the profile for the tl yet or the tl lcd at a later stage they will show on this page because i've been using this to guide forum goers having trouble and to show them where to look for and such which you can take reference to all this mention to you there are 140 variant. Right now, I'm using all the 120 variant. So on fan profile itself, right? There are no selection for me to set to one. I mean 140. But if I do plug in a 140, right? You will have a profile to switch. 
between 120 to 140 to have the correct profile. Just like on the application over here, see? All this right for the fan and pump. See? You can select. So do take note on this if you purchase a 140 variant of the TL and the TL LCD, right? Make sure that you toggle the profile correctly. Hope you guys have enjoyed what I've shared with you. And on my illustration on the webcam, this colors over here, inclusive of the LCD, was not sharp. So that does not justify the quality of this unit over here. Right now, with the true camera, you can see the TL and the TL LCD. The colors are very vibrant, inclusive of the infinity mirror. As you can see at the rear, these are the TL fans. And for the LCD, take a look, it's very sharp and it's bright. With this say, I'd like to thank Danny to have provided this unit for me to feed with and to share with my viewers. And also to Block Soda to have done the arrangement on the delivery. And for those of you who are actually new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you like my content, do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button. Till then, take care, goodbye, see ya.